Hello all. So in this tutorial we are going to model a stylish dressing table in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's go into rendering view image file and let's go into that take a reference over here. So before we start with this first let's take a plane over here go on to the top view take a box over here you can define the units also if you want to go with the units not a problem so increase its height over here and increase its width a bit so after it's done just right click convert to editable poly over here now I can just add one swift loop over here go to the top view add one swift loop over here one swift loop over here so I'm just adding few swift loops over here for now I'm just pushing this up go into the polygons over here select this all polygon and just give a bit of extrude over here and extrude should be very less and just click ok so come out of that now what i'll be doing over here is like again i'll be adding few loops over here so let's go to the top view one loop over here so and already we have a loop over here so one more loop over here so two loops will be adding now again I'll add one more loop over here After adding this loop over here, let's go into the polygons over here. Let's select this and, and let's extrude this up. So we'll be selecting this also if you zoom in so first what we'll be doing over here is like we'll be just extruding this part up a bit we'll just extrude this part a bit up click ok and again extrude this up to full list till here and click ok So once you're done over here, you can just push this up, select this and this and you have a bridge option. You can just easily bridge this stuff over here. After that, now what I can do over here is like, select this whole element exclude this and just give a bit of extrude on top of it click ok select this over here and you also need to exclude this area and just extrude this by local normal over here so let's exclude this by local normal click ok over here after that again you can select this all over here now select this over here 
and just gain extrude this up over here select this again exclude this and again extrude it up and click ok so once you are done with this so now I'll go into this front view over here and let's add one swift loop over here or else select this hole and let's give connect two connects of let's give four connects click ok select this and give two connect click ok so just push this in this way and in this way so this area will be of glass over here so let's use a bit of inset and extrude it a bit inside so save your file over here so go on the desktop So just save it now again I'll select this and again I will extrude this up till here click OK and add some swift loop over here, one here, one here, so just push this and give it a bit of slope over here, so just select this edge and let's give a bit of chamfer to it and click OK that's it so again add one loop so go on adding few loops over here go to the polygon over here and extrude this up the over here that's it so if you go over here and you see should be less that's it So you can just and isolate this. Just save your file over here. So select this polygon over here and just give a bit of extrude over here click ok so we can just create this small bottles over here just take a cylinder over here auto grid and you can use FFD cylinder 
control points select this scale convert to editor poly insert it and just give it so we'll just continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial